Hello everybody and welcome to this new video on the White Hat uh, Grand Prix uh, qualification round. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Programming 01 challenge right now. The description is just an IP and a port. So let's start by uh, going to that port. Or not getting in. Uh, programming White Hat Grand Prix 06. Count the number of possible triangles. How many triangles are created by an... Um, now we get an example, for n equals 5, the output will be 3, and these are all the possible triangles that we can create. Now what are these numbers? Uh, these are sides of a triangle. So a triangle uh, with sides 2, 3, and 4 exists, uh, same for these. Uh, and then let's give an example of one that, that doesn't exist. Um, 2, 3, and 5 doesn't exist. Uh, and why is that? Well. Um, one of the things that a triangle has to have, uh, when you have three sides, uh, they form a triangle if uh, this rule applies. So if uh, A plus B is greater than C, A plus C is greater than B, and B plus C is greater than A. So uh, let's take a picture of a triangle here to illustrate that better. So let's say this side is A, B, and C. So A plus B has to be greater than C. Uh, a plus C has to be greater than B and B plus C has to be greater than A. So for example, for um, let's say this side is 1, this side is 2 and this side is 18. If you try to draw that on a paper, it's impossible because 1 plus 2 is not greater than 18 so that those sides cannot form a triangle. So that's what this function does, the S triangle function. It, it takes in three sides and returns true if they, the sides can form a triangle and false if not. Um, so then this uh, function I wrote here is pretty much uh, for a given n. It's going to loop through all the combinations um, for that n. So if n is 5, it's going to loop through combinations uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 4, uh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 1, uh, 2, 5, and all possible combinations. Uh, it's going to loop through all of them. And check if they can form a triangle. If they can form a triangle, we are going to add one to the count. Now, just from looking at this function, uh, it's pretty clear what the problem is. For a n, a very high n, this the combinations here are going to be immensely big. So we're going to have trillions of combinations uh, for an n that's like a hundred thousand or something like that. So th that's not feasible to run through. And um, this uh, script that we ask, that we, um, or this um, port that we connect to, right now it asks us for an n8. Well, if you answer the, uh, it correctly, it's going to ask you for an n of somewhere in the thousands, and then for an n somewhere in the ten thousands. So this function cannot solve that. Um, so what did I do? I had to find um, some kind of way that I could improve the performance. So what I did is I um, let the script print out some information uh, right here. So let's run that. So we're going to do python uh, solve.py. It's going to give us, uh, this is the n, this is the solution. And then this uh, script is wrong. It has to be a minus previously. Okay, let's run that again. Let's save that. Okay, right. So for a num n of 4, we can make one triangle. Uh, and then this is going to be the previous value. So for 5, uh, no, this is going to be uh, the answer minus the answer of the of n minus 1. Uh, so we have uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, 7 minus 3 is 4. All right. So then we can start to find uh, correlations in this data. Uh, and, and a very easy thing to spot is that for the first one, we just add 1. Then we add 2, we add 2. We add 3, we add 3, we add 4, we add 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, and 8. So this means that we can um, just calculate the amount of triangles without even having to loop through all the combinations and testing for each one if they are a triangle or not. So that's what this function does. So it starts with a count. Uh, the count is going to be this middle number, the solution for a given n. Then uh, the adder is going to be how much we're going to add. So for the first one, we're going to add 1. For the second and third one, we're going to add 2. 
and so on, then the previous value is going to be uh, this previous value. Uh, for, for, for let's say n is 6, then the previous value is going to be 2 because we're going to add 2 uh, to that previous value. And then we have a switch, and the switch is pretty much going to, uh, every time we add, it's going to be decreased by 1, and when it reaches 0, we know, okay, we have to add 1 to that number we're adding, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much what this code does. And it's it's way more efficient because for uh, it's, it's only going to loop uh, through, it's going to, going to loop n times, whereas this was going to loop uh, way more times. Um, so for an n of 10,000, it's going to make 10,000 loops, whereas this one would make millions of loops, and that's just a guess, right? Um, so let's actually let that run our uh, run on the server. So I wrote this uh, code with a uh, bonlib which is going to make a connection. It's going to then receive until this n equals. It's going to then take that number, uh, convert it to an int, print it out. It's going to count uh, the triangles for that number and send, uh, send that uh, calculation, the result of that kind of calculation. And then I'm going to do the same thing uh, three times. And then we get the flag and it's going to print out the flag for us. So let's uh, run that. So if we save this and run that it's going to make a connection for us and then start sending stuff so okay it makes the connection the first and we get a seven we sent the answer we get well done uh, let's accelerate and now we are asked for an n of three 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 we sent the answer and now it says create the last challenge and equals uh, two thousand two hundred and twenty two 222,222 numbers are difficult. Uh, uh, we sent the correct answer and it says you are victorious and we get the flag. Now if you had uh, issues with submitting, fl submitting flags in the CTF that's because you had to uh, convert the, the flag part here to uh, SHA-1. So I'm quickly going to show you how to do that as well. So we're going to take our flag, we're going to uh, at first I was echoing it, but echo adds a, a, a null character at the end, which means our uh, SHA-1 sum is going to be uh, wrong. So we have to do a printf of our flag, and we're going to um, pipe that into SHA-1 sum. Once we execute that, we get our SHA-1 sum, and uh, as you can see here, this is going to be the flag at the end. So uh, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in another one.